question 14. In the following figure, determine EM, and then we're given these values. So first thing, I'm going to label all the stuff that we're given. Well, actually first, EM is what I'm looking for. So this line all the way down. So G to E is 24. And notice these tick marks. If this is 24, this is 24. Those two tick marks mean equal. And then EO, E to O is 45 and same. This is 45. And then GO, so all the way across, is 51. So I can see that these are two of the same triangles. So whatever this length is will be this length. So um, I can see that right here I have my three triangles, the right triangle with the altitude that creates two more. I'm just going to find this value and double it to get the whole length. So let's start with our big triangle. And I'm only looking at this half. Okay, so the top half right now. I'm going to undo that because I will want that back eventually. So the top half, E is the right angle. The hypotenuse is all the way across, which is 51. That one was given to us, G to O. And then our short leg is 24, long leg is 45. So this triangle, now we're going to do the medium one and the small one. So here's our medium one. The hypotenuse is 45. Short leg is X. And then our long leg, we don't know because we only know the whole length is 51. So I'm just going to leave that blank. And then here, let's do the small triangle where the hypotenuse is 24. And then the short leg, we don't know, it's part of 51. And the long leg is X. All right, so now we need to pick two triangles. And really, you have to use this one. But these two, it doesn't matter. Take your pick. I'm going to go with the smaller numbers. Okay, so 45 goes with X. Those are the same side. They're both the long leg equal to 51 and 24. So the hypotenuse links. That's our proportion that's all set up. Now we cross multiply. So 51 X equals 45 times 24, which is 1080. Now to solve for x, we're going to divide both sides by 51. So 1080 divided by 51 as a fraction is 360 over 17. I didn't use the decimal because it doesn't tell me to round. So this length is 360 over 17, but we want the full length. We want it twice. So now I'm going to multiply that by 2 because that's how you double something. So 2 times 360 over 17 is 720 over 17. So the numerator doubled. And that is our answer.